What up, everybody? Welcome to Which One is Better? <laughs> Where you give me a few things to debate, and I debate them. First one we are starting with is belters versus runners. And what I mean by that, or what the person meant by that, is that we are debating singers who belt versus singers who sing runs. This is really hard because I feel like I'm low-key biased because I'm a belter and I am not a run singer, but I appreciate a really good run. I wish there was like an in-between, but I'm trying to think of like, you know, the debate of would you rather only be able to whisper for your whole life or yell for your whole life, like or shout? So I'm trying to think of that in, in terms of this, like, would I rather be like, yeah, like just like ripping in someone's face all day long or like, Ooh. like, whatever, that was a terrible run. But you know what I mean? And I feel like, I feel like I would rather do vocal gymnastics than be able to sing a big note. Maybe I feel like technically it's like has more technicality and more skill than sing is singing a big belt note. People are going to start coming for me. I can already feel it. Uh, mind you, all this is being said while I am a belter. Like I don't sing crazy runs. I have my golden ones that I can sing, but that's about it. I don't know. Maybe I want to be a belter. It's like, do I want, do I want to be like Kim Burrell or Carrie Underwood? Kim Burrell got some soul, but Carrie Underwood made more money. So, <laughs> okay, based on money, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Carrie Underwood. I'm gonna go Belters because I think Belters end up in the long run making more money than run singers. Hopefully. Sorry for all the noise, too, because I'm outside. But I figured it'd be good to have a different scenery, to say the least. Okay, next one. Billy versus Olivia. This is difficult because I feel like Billy aesthetically is me. Although... Olivia got some swag, though. She, she kind of has the same aesthetic as me, too. But in terms of albums right now, if we're going based on current albums, I like Olivia's current album more. Billy's album hasn't fully come out. And, you know, not every song is everybody's cup of tea. I don't like crapping on artists. But Your Power wasn't my favorite. But there are some songs on Olivia's album that I'm like, dang, like, good for you, fire. Jealousy, jealousy, fire. Brutal. It's pretty brutal out here. Like, that, I'm in it. I'm into it. I'm about it. That's it. But if we go Billy's last album, because we haven't really heard the full album coming out. That album was something else, and there's a reason why I got seven Grammys. So, hmm. I think... I think I'm going to go Billy. Mainly because she's from L.A., born and raised. Although, I think Olivia might be, too. Hmm. This gets harder and harder as I go Go on. Okay, I still I think I'm going to go Billy because I think longevity-wise, I think she has it somewhat figured out. And I would like to think that I have it somewhat figured out, even though I'm not there yet. And I feel like me and Billy's paths are very similar in, like, how we carry ourselves, the things that we say, we're very straightforward, we don't really care what like people think. I'm sure Olivia's all those things, but I haven't seen enough interviews yet to really decide that. But I do know that I get compared to Billy all the time, and 
I gotta stand. I gotta stand with my stand and choose Billy. Okay, last one. There was one that somebody said. What did they? Oh, milkshakes versus slushies. This is hands down, hands down. People are gonna come for me and y'all can kiss my butt. I'm going slushies. Slushies are so underrated. Milkshakes are so overrated. Every time you drink a milkshake, you feel nasty. Every time. I have yet to meet anybody that drinks an entire milkshake and is like, I still feel pretty good about myself or like my stomach's not upset. Every time their stomach is upset. A slushy, your stomach's never upset. It's like, you don't have to go boo-boo when you eat a slushy. You do have to go boo-boo when you have a milkshake, okay? And on a hot summer day, it's July, you walk down to 7-Eleven, you're not getting a milkshake. You're freaking getting a slushy, an ice thing, cherry or raspberry slush wonderfulness. The ice, the, you, you, sometimes there's like, it, uh, you know, if it's brand new, like they just like started the slush machine, you know, and there's still like a little bit of crunch in the ice. Woo! It's the anemic person's dream, okay? You get the crunch, you get the sweet. Every time, I just want to, I just want to go back to every time that I have a milkshake, my stomach is upset. I can't even drink the full milkshake. It's so sweet. It's so extra. And like a slushy is sweet, but it doesn't have all the milk and everything to jack you up. Like, I feel like hormonally, I'm on, on another planet when I have a milkshake. The next day, hormone wise, my body's like, what is going on? What have you put in me? I feel like I've been injected with COVID. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No. I just feel jacked up every time I have a milkshake. Like every time I think I'm like, oh, you want somebody's like, oh, you want a milkshake? And I haven't had one in like, I don't know, six months, a year, whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I do kind of want a milkshake every time I regret it. Every time. But every time I have a slushy, nah, I don't regret it. There's not one regret. It's refreshing. It's somewhat light. And besides, you're getting sugar with water. That's got to be some kind of balance, some kind of balance of something, I'm assuming. I'm no scientist, but that to me, that sounds right. It's like White Claw. You know, you, you got alcohol, but you got water. It counteracts, right? Right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's which one is better. Hopefully you liked it. Please like and share this. Click the subscribe button, and I'll see you next week. Peace. Thank you.